Dear all, this tutorial is prepared for mathematics for social students that means for freshman course, for physics students, for chemistry, for statistics, for mathematics students. And under this we will see basic limit theorems. But before that, dear, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment this channel. Uh, and now let us we start from this basic limit theorems. Basic limit theorems are that suppose limit of f of x as x approaches to a z equals to l and the limit of j of x as x approaches to a z equals to m and k is constant. Now rule one or the first basic limit theorem is which is scalar multiple rule. That means Limit of k times f of x as x approaches a is the same as k times limit of f of x as x approaches a. But limit of f of x as x approaches a from the above is l. Then we have k times l. For instance, limit of 6 times sine square x as x approaches pi is the same as 6 times limit of sine square x as x approaches pi. This is the same as 6 times limit of sine x the whole square as x approaches to pi. Then, using by uh, direct substitutions, this is the same as 6 times sine of pi. Sine pi is, which is 0. Then we have 6 times 0, equal with 0. 2, which is sum and difference are that means a limit of f of x plus or minus g of x as x approaches to a. This is here we have two rules. The first rule is which is some rule, means that limit of f of x plus g of x. And the second rule is limit of f of x minus g of x as x approaches to a. Now, in general, this the two, the sum and the difference rule becomes that means the limit of f of x plus or minus g of x as x approaches to a becomes limit of f of x as x approaches a plus or minus limit of g of x as x approaches a but limit of f of x as x approaches a is l and the limit of g of x as x approaches a is which is m then we have l plus or minus m for example limit of pi x square minus cos cube of x as x approaches to 0. Now this is the same as using difference rule. This is the same as limit of pi x square as x approaches to 0 minus limit of cos cube x as x approaches to 0. Here using the direct substitutions, that means replacing or substituting x by 0, we have here this is limit of pi x square minus limit of cos cube x as x approaches 0 becomes which is pi times 0 here minus limit of cos of 0 the whole cube but pi times 0 cube is which is 0 square is which is 0 then 0 minus and here limit of cos x cube as x approaches 0 is which is cos 0 cos 0 is 1 then we have 0 minus 1 because limit of pi x square as x approaches 0 is which is 0 and the limit of cos qx as x approaches 0 is which is 1 we have 0 minus 1 equal with minus 1 3 which is product error limit of f times g of x as x approaches to a is equal with Limit of f of x as x approaches to a time limit of g of x as x approaches to a. But limit of f of x as x approaches to a from the above is l and the limit of g of x as x approaches to a is which is m. Then we have l time m. For example, limit of x times cosec of x as x approaches to pi over 2. Now this is written in the form of the above or root, sorry, that means product. Now using product rule, limit of x times cosec 
x as x approaches to pi over 2 is the same as limit of x as x approaches to pi over 2 time limit of cosec x as x approaches to pi over 2 again using uh, direct substitutions substituting x by pi over 2 we have here since limit of x as x approaches pi over 2 is pi over 2 time the limit of cosec x as x approaches pi over 2 is, which is the same as limit of 1 over sine x as x approaches pi over 2 but sine of pi over 2 is which is 1 so we have limit of cosec x as x approaches pi over 2 that means limit of 1 over sine x as x approaches pi over 2 becomes 1 over 1 which is 1 then we have here pi over 2 then we have pi over 2 times 1 because limit of x as x approaches pi over 2 is pi over 2 limit of cosec x as x approaches pi over 2 is which is 1 so pi over 2 times 1 is same as pi over 2 isn't it? Don't, don't forget that since cosec x is 1 over sine x so using that rule since sine of pi over 2 is 1 so cosec x that means limit of cosec x as x approaches pi over 2 is which is limit of 1 over sine x as x approaches pi over 2 so sine of pi over 2 is 1 then 1 over 1 is which is 1 so we have limit of sine x limit of x as x approaches pi over 2 times limit of cosec x as x approaches pi over 2 is the same as pi over 2 times 1 which is pi over 2 rule 4 which is called quotient rule the quotient rule is given as limit of f over g as x approaches a of x is the same as limit of f of x as x approaches a over limit of g of x as x approaches a again since limit of f of x as x approaches a from the above is l and the limit of g of x as x approaches a is also which is m so we have limit of f of x as x approaches a over the limit of g of x as x approaches a is equal with l over m whenever m is different from zero this is called a quotient rule for example limit of x raised to 4 plus 2x square minus 6 the whole over x cubed minus 4x plus 2 as x approaches to 1 now if we substitute uh, or these functions or this question rule is defined at 1 so by using a direct rule and by using this question rule or rule number 4 we have that limit of x to the power of 4 plus 2x squared minus 6 or as x approaches 1 e over limit of x cubed minus 4x plus 2 as x approaches to 1 so using direct substitutions or substituting or replacing x by 1 we have 1 to the power of 4 plus 2 times 1 squared minus 6 over 1 cubed minus 4 times 1 plus 2 so this is the same as since 1 to the power of 4 is which is 1 and 2 times 1 squared which is 2 and here we have minus 6 the whole over 1 cube is which is 1 and the minus 4 times 1 is which is minus 4 and here we have plus so this is the same as 1 plus 2 minus 6 the whole over 1 minus 4 plus 2 1 plus 2 is 3 then 3 minus 6 which is minus 3 over 1 minus 4 is which is minus 3 minus 3 plus this minus 1 so we have that minus 3 over minus 1 minus 3 over minus 1 is which is 3 so limit of x to the power of 4 plus 2x squared minus 6 the whole over x to the power of 3 minus 4x squared plus 2 as x approaches 1 becomes 3 dear all this is the basic limit theorems so after we know what means basic limit theorems, we will discuss 
how we can evaluate or how we can find or we will see the technique of finding or evaluating the limit of any functions that means we can use for instance by using a director or that means a direct substitutions or by rationalizing or by factorizing or by using polar form and etc and we will discuss or we will find the limit of any functions so when we post or when we uh, do any pro any video so uh, to get an uh, such an important tutorials so you should have to subscribe it if you subscribe it don't forget to like share and the comments thanks for watching this a useful tutorial